Morning guys, welcome to another job. Okay, so a uh, little patio clean today. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a little bit of information about this because you're probably gonna wonder why I'm doing what I'm doing with this patio. Now, um, this was sent to me um, via email. This is a job in Cambridge. Um, they wanted their patio to be uh, cleaned and repointed. Now, um, when I saw the photos, I could see that the, uh, the, the patio is in quite bad condition, quite old. And um, normally when things are quite old, patio slabs, 20, 30 years old, there's going to be lots of wobbles in them. They're, they're, not, the, they're not going to be bedded properly. It's, I, I've, I've been doing this for so long now, and um, any of you guys that do this as well, you'll know when you get to come to a patio, the, the, the slabs are all wobbly and you can feel them moving around under your feet and stuff. So I just looked at it and assumed, wrongly assumed, that they were really wobbly. So I said to the customer, look, um, I'm afraid I don't actually do repointing anymore, but because, um, because you have, I would, I would guess you probably will have lots of wobbly slabs. It's probably not worth repointing it anyway, because if you don't fix those slabs and have them rebedded, it's just going to crack the repointing anyway. So I said, look, what you can do is um, brush some grit gravel into the joints. So I'll clean it, um, treat it, and then brush grit gravel in. That will obviously, and that that obviously saves on cost as well. So she was very happy with that and agreed to me doing that. But I've arrived here today and I've had a good walk around on this these patio slabs and they're completely solid. <laughs> Absolutely rock solid. Who knew? I mean, the chances, uh, uh, the chances of that being the case are just very slim. Um, but um, look, I did say to the customer, look, they are they are very solid. You could have this repointed if you want. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it. That's not something I offer anymore. Um, so if you did want this repointed, I'm quite happy to just clean it um, and um, you would need to hire someone else to come and repoint it. Or you can just uh, have what we agreed with the, me brushing in the grit gravel. And she was more than happy with the grit gravel because look, let's face it, it's a much, much cheaper option and it's still gonna look pretty good. So um, I think what they just want is a nice place to sit out on a, um, uh, a sunny day. Uh, please don't judge uh, the garden. It's a little bit messy around the edges and um, around the back. Um, she did say to me she's not a gardener and she doesn't really mind the way it looks. So please, please don't be so too harsh in the comments. Not everyone likes things pristine. So, um, but in this case, she does want her patio clean. Um, right, anyway, enough waffle. Uh, let's go and have a look. quote to clean these but I will clean them. Just stepping stones randomly dotted around. Quite cool actually. Quite like the way it's been done like that. Okay so here's the start. There's them. That clearly used to be an old pond. A couple of moss around the edges. Yeah, this is the job. So uh, I'm gonna pressure wash. Um, stick a load of hypo down, because I guarantee there's loads of black spots on this. And um, brush the grit gravel in. And it should come up really nice. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, first problem. <coughs> Excuse me. The worst water pressure ever. Check this out. That's cold. Can't go any further. It'll be all well for that water bath filled up. Thank God it's a small job.
I did wonder whether my bin would be enough to get the whole job done. I thought it'd be close, and it was. So, um, let's show you. So much I've got left in the bin. So uh, that'll stay, that'll fill up while I put the hypo on. I'm going to do that by hand. I'm not going to get me uh, X jet out for such a small space. I'm just going to uh, bucket and brush, traditional way. Okay, let's do that. I've overdone it with the surfactant. I did think when I poured it in a bucket, oh, that's a bit much. <laughs> There's soap suds all around the edges, so uh, <laughs> yeah, probably put a bit too much in. Anyway, right, so this has come up lovely. Much brighter. Check that out. See what I mean about the soap? Way too much soap in there. They come up nice. So, the little X pond, that's Yorkstone. Yorkstone's really hard to get rid of black spots. You don't know how long it's been there. I mean, for all I know, that's been there 50, 60, 70 years. I just don't know. I'm going to go over it again. But um, Yorkstone is my biggest enemy when it comes to black spots um, where you think uh, Indian sandstone is bad uh, four or five times application still can't get rid of it 
this stuff um, this stuff's even worse so I'm not optimistic but um, I'm gonna go over it again see if I can brighten up a bit more and get it more looking like that anyway let's do it okay that's second application let's jet wash that off that's actually come up much better let's just jet wash this off and go again Okay, third attempt. The good thing is, the rest of it is looking lovely. So I'm gonna start brushing in the grit and um, I'm gonna keep going at this bit. So while I brush in the grit, I'll let that sit there and dwell. Um, I don't, I'm not optimistic it's gonna do much more now, but um, who knows, it might do. So yeah, um, let's get the grit in and see what that looks like. Okay, we're nearly there. There's only, say, one, two, three, four, five problem slabs. That one, that one, that one. One over there, one over there. I'm not gonna let this beat me. Famous last words.
Okay, battery's nearly dead. That is almost there, almost, look at that. Just that one there, with some very faint spots. Some very faint ones there. And one or two over there. I'm gonna go one, one more application than that, then that's it, I'm calling it a day, because that'll be five applications. Um, and it is under a tree, so <laughs> they'll be back within two or three years anyway, so um, yeah. But I just like to leave things looking as spotless as I can. So, one more try, then that's it. Okay, five seems to have been the magic number because that is completely black spot free. Look at that, beautiful. Actually, tell a lie, I can see very, very faint speckles there. Right, I am done. Looking good. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.